So China is giving more weapons to Pakistan, but they're nothing like what we're about to show you. Chinese soldiers stationed along the border with India have some new weapons. They were struggling to operate in high altitudes in the difficult climatic conditions. So China is bringing in robots to help. You heard that right. China is deploying robotic weapons along the border with India. There are machine guns on wheels and they can be fired with a remote control. Beijing's decision to give robots to the PLA could have dangerous implications, not just for this region, but for the rest of the world too. Our next report tells you how. There is a new threat from China. It is not a battalion of soldiers or wolf warrior diplomats. It's these machines. Initially, they would remind you of remote-controlled car toys. But look closely, these robots can do a lot more. They are equipped with a machine gun. Chinese soldiers can fire this gun from a distance and without any wires. There are cameras too, to watch what the adversaries are doing. China calls this vehicle the Shark Claw. 88 of these have been deployed in Tibet. Shark Claw has a partner. It's the Mule 200. This is a transport vehicle, so not as lethal as the Shark Claw, but the Mule would be very useful for the PLA. It can be used to transport valuable supplies like ammunition. China has deployed around 120 of these in Tibet. Robots are now joining the People's Liberation Army. Their induction is a prelude to something more sinister. For now, a soldier will operate these robots. But in the future, China wants weapons with a mind of their own. The PLA wants weapons with artificial intelligence. Beijing is moving swiftly to acquire such capabilities. The efforts began in 2017 when China unveiled a new artificial intelligence development plan. It advocated the use of AI in the military. Specific applications were listed out, like providing support to command and decision-making, military deductions, and development of defense equipment and related application. Private sector was roped in to accelerate these efforts. Chinese big tech companies like Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, Xiaomi and Huawei were labelled as AI champions. The PLA stands to benefit from the rapid strides these companies make. Already, different wings of the Chinese military are working on specific projects. The PLA ground force is developing robotics for the military. The Navy is working on autonomous submarines while the Air Force is developing drones with an ability to think. These advancements should raise an alarm worldwide and robotics for the military. The Navy is working on autonomous submarines, while the Air Force is developing drones with an ability to think. These advancements should raise an alarm worldwide. Unfortunately, world powers are still ignoring the threat. This month, the United Nations tried to open negotiations for an international treaty on autonomous weapons. They failed. None of major weapons producing countries were willing to have a conversation. These stonewalling tactics work to Beijing's advantage. The PLA gets more time to perfect the AI technology and develop killer robots. Weapons that could make the world a more dangerous place.